The aim of Tart Cassava Compact is to make cassava an agro-industrial um, commodity in Africa that will increase income of smallholder farmers and assure food security. We introduce improved technologies for cassava production, which would increase farm level productivity. We also in introduce uh, modern processing technologies that increase the efficiency of processing, reduce costs of processing, and the uh, revenue of both the farmers and the processors are increased. There have been a kind of a problem of post-service losses which we uh, observed and we were find, looking for a way of solving, moving the uh, cassava root from the field to the factory. It has always been a very big problem because 80% of the route you are transporting is purely water. So we have looked at it that the best way to do it is to go straight to the field rather than bringing the cassava root from the field to the cities. If this is processed right inside the field, can in turn give a, a lot of profit to the farmer. You can reduce this cost of transportation and you can as well make use of all the byproducts. And this can increase the cost of the farmer and the processor. Our average yield is about 24 tons uh, per hectare. This machine is capable of processing a whole hectare into cake. I will transport the cake to other starch factory or for high quality cassava production. But you know, in case of Gary, it requires a certain production process. We require a little bit of fermentation, dewatering, and then roasting. If it's roasting, 250 kg in eight hours. You can imagine what is going to roast in a day. Per day, averagely, uh, a very good woman will produce only about 50 kg. But this particular equipment can produce almost five times what the women can produce. I think it's a, a kind of scenario that for Gary production, it's about 2.8 tons of fruit. And in case of uh, cake, it's about eight tons. The vehicle itself is a crane like that can actually load all this stuff. We have a pillar, we have a grater, we have a press, we have a roaster, we have a siever, and we have a generator to power this. We equally have a water pump. So no matter what, we can have access to water at least up to one kilometer away once the water is what we can use. So this is what we have on board. What is the word? What is the word? What is the word? What is the the Oh, where are they? Oh, fine. Hello, Keta. Oh, you see, I get up there. Who wasted? Who wasted again? Who wasted another? Now I do go away. But Sherry, oh, da. So you see, I get up. See, I feel bad. That Bali, oh, where are they? I get up. That Bali, job bad. So Bali, I'm all over. I'm not this way. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I
So we have run the profitability analysis of the mobile cassava processing plant and it proves to be very profitable. The startup capital required for setting up the mobile processing plant for high quality gari production is $52,000, while that of high quality cassava cake is $47,000. The total sales turnover for high quality gari is $294,000, while that of high quality cassava cake is $425,000. The net profit after tax of gari production is $83,000, while that of high quality cassava cake is $77,000. And the cash balance at the end of the period for high quality gari is $66,000, while that of high quality cassava cake is $63,000 US dollars. These are the uh, analysis cutting from a three-year projection. And the return on investment for high-quality gari is 156%, while that of high-quality cassava cake is 155%. So, the analysis shows that the use of mobile cassava processing plant for production of high quality gari and high quality cassava cake proves to be very profitable viable and sustainable uh, sincerely speaking it's just a surprise to me because i've never witnessed shorts of things machine like this in my life if it's going to be a lowest price i think our people will share up and put their brain together and you know it's the work of government to come to the rural area, to see the farmers, discuss with them. So far, you have made the physical practical, and every one of us seen it. If the government can empower our people from local government to our people now, form a group, then they should assist them. To be honest, we are really excited, you know, because this is one of the things that is really is needed in this type of environment. All of these farmers, you know, we know them, we have a relationship with them. This will be a benefit for the local people as well. When we started, it was just a pilot, we were just running a trial. It's a starch factory, we, be, we were actually processed for the making cake. That was a cake, cassava cake. And everything that we produced, it was sold and then it was passed. 100% quality-wise, best. Moisture-wise, best. Everything came out very well. I mean, the, the, the trial was a success. This system that we started with, with a TAAT is, is something that we already have a site where, where the machine will come in there. It's exactly the same uh, machine that they brought here on site. We are still going to use that. There are a few things that we are just going to adjust there and there, but definitely that's what we're going to use. Our experience is that the technology is good. On our own site, we are going ahead with replicating the um, cassava cake processing units. Uh, we are already talking to some of the uh, fabricators that you introduced us to. Uh, within the RFL uh, organization, we are about to get the board approval to make that investment. So definitely in a short period of time, once we have the board approval to make the investment, we will go ahead to develop the mobile cassava cake processing units that we can then deploy to cassava clusters so that we can really prove that this uh, technology is working. Mm -hmm.